Thank you, guys. <laughs> All right, bishops, come on in. Hello everyone, I'm KXOI4's Mark Peterson. Welcome to our holiday edition of Extreme Team Stories of Community. As we approach the one year mark for the Extreme Team and with it being the holiday season, we thought we should showcase our November and December projects. In this half hour, we're gonna highlight those two projects. Also, we're gonna take a visit of those that we've come in contact with over the past year. Now, behind me is our December project, the Bishop Family. And as you can see, our worker elves are hard at work. Before we tell you about the bishops, let's go back to November, tell you about how Thanksgiving took on a whole new meaning for one organization here in Spokane. Three years ago, my wife and I felt that we were supposed to go in a full-time ministry. Marty McKinney says he didn't ask any questions the day Jesus came calling. Quit my job and within a couple of months of praying, we ended up on the streets downtown uh, serving sandwiches. Moving seven or eight times in six months, the group remained focused on serving people, letting God sort out the details of a new home. On Christmas Eve last year, Truth Ministries moved into a building. It was a building they had been long waiting for. The building wasn't perfect. We've only been able to serve um, top ramen. But at least it is a home. We've been here a little over a year. Now the News 4 Extreme Team will do its part, installing a kitchen. Not only to be able to, to give them better food at night, but also to allow other churches and other, other people to come in and serve those things and be a part of serving. And providing a little more touch of home with the new shower. Two small things that we take for granted every day, a hot meal and a hot shower. We just show up. We just open the door and walk in and, and say, I hope that uh, we're in line and prepared to do whatever he asks us to do whether it's washing feet or serving a meal. And like I said, thank God for the shower, you know, because you can wash your own feet now. But, yeah. you know. Truth Ministries runs completely on donations, and McKinney says helping the ministry helps those in Spokane who need it most. This is an opportunity probably to reach out a little more. Hey, day one, expanded construction. We are gonna just fly through here. We're gonna put cabinets in here. We've got plumbing going in. We've got a shower going in. We got demo going in. We got doors getting taken out. We got all the lumber coming in. We got so much work to do. We got three days of crazy building, and then we'll be done. Cabinets at 36 inches high, okay. and so then you got your laminate, and then you got a four-inch backsplash. Hey, it is day one. It is a quarter to 11, and already things are happening fast. What used to be just a floor with a bunch of stuff in it's now been ripped out and removed and now being rebuilt with the rub framing, the plumbing is going in, the electrical is being worked on. There's a lot to do. This is only the very beginning skeletal start of this huge project. It's going crazy, man. I can't believe how fast it's going together. All these guys down here, they're all smiling, they're all happy. Happy to help us out, and we're just blessed to be along for the ride, man. That's cool. That's really cool. We're gonna cut the doors in half. Oh, gotcha. And then they'll just slide into the wall. Good. really needed is something that they did not have, and that was heat in the sanctuary. So what we did is we called our friends at Comfort Central, Rick Flower came down, he installed this beautiful 90% efficiency heater. We ran these new pipes in, we took them all the way down, run them up and into the sanctuary, and now they have something they did not have, and that's heat. Hey, this is awesome. We got an extra freezer built in for Fred's appliance. So what we want to do is we want to put a freezer back in this area.
All right, day two, it's 10 o'clock. These walls already up and the rock on the inside is done. Pantry's looking great, electrical inspection passed. Take a look in what the kitchen is. We've gone to what looks to be the makings of it now. This big bad boy, the stainless steel sink's gonna go back there. The plumbing is in. They're starting to get ready for the final. And we've got a floor to put in. There's still a hole in the floor. A refrigerator goes here, a pantry here, two ovens, cabinets across there, cabinets above, right. inside this little room, some more cabinets. Cabinets, cabinets, cabinets. here in uh, the warmth of uh, Truth Ministries uh, out on Sprague Avenue and the Extreme Team in action. In fact, uh, all of this is new construction that we're going to show you and it's been going on over the past couple of days. It's a huge project. It's a new form of government here. As you can see in here, we're setting the cabinets. After the cabinets, uh, we come in with painters. We still have some electrical, plumbing, Here's sort of the situation. First of all, we have no shelves left or yet in the pantry, and they're not going to be here for another hour. The food has not arrived yet, so we're going to be a little delayed on that. You can hear they're still trying to get everything done in the kitchen, but we haven't even put the appliances in. They're still trying to get painting, and they haven't touched the bathroom yet. It's a quarter to four. Second Harvest Food Bank just showed up with a little bit of help. There's only one thing missing, our shelves. Let's check out the back and see what he's got. Tony is our guy. He helped set us up. And look at this. Oh, man. How cool is that? Guys, I need to be straight on this the first time. Tell me what today has been like for you. Tell me what the last couple of days have been like. Just mind-blowing. Awesome. Man, I can't believe what you guys have done. you got an awesome group of people, and it's not... It's not about all the stuff. It's about the people coming together and doing what you guys are doing. That's all what right. we're about, right? Now check this out. All right, guys. Could you, Nikki, would you present our young man with what you have and tell him how much it is? Here is $1,300 donated from the AAU Extreme Team um, for you and your homeless shelter. That's the kids. This is the pantry. We're gonna be eating, man. Here's your new area to do dishes. Woo! Yes, dishwasher! Again, Fred's helped us out there. They love us. We got hand washing sinks, we got salad washing sinks. Look at all this. Here is your team behind you. John, Todd, Lori, Larry. Man, thank you guys. This is it, Truth Ministries has a new kitchen. The guys have a warm place to sleep and they're gonna have warm food in their belly. God bless everybody. The work that Marty and Julie and all of those associated with Truth Ministries do on a daily basis highlights the good that is out there in our community. And we hope you enjoy the kitchen and good health. When we return, we're gonna take a look back at the last year. It has been very busy back in a moment.
Welcome back to Extreme Team Stories of Community, Holiday Edition. Now, we're standing in one of the areas at the Bishop Home that we're working on, and as you can see, we got a lot of work to do, and as we always say, we hope we get it done. And amazingly enough, we always do. Well, it has been a busy year for KXLY and Sullivan Homes, and in that year, we've had just a little bit of magic happen to us, and we've given it out. Take a look. All right, just looking at that, I'm tired all over again. Can I tell you this? This last year, we've had so many great experiences, and that's an understatement. To everyone that we've met, worked with, and helped, we hope you have a wonderful holiday season. Now, one more stop we made this year involved absolutely no construction at all. An extreme team Thanksgiving is what we called our visit to Fairchild Air Force Base, where we were able to meet some of the families with loved ones stationed overseas, experience what it takes to feed a military base on a holiday, cook up our own Thanksgiving bird with the help of Chef Ray of the Spokane Club, and of course, do some extreme cooking of our own. On the count of three, he shall drop it in. Are you? I'm sorry. Lay it in gently. One, two, three. Thank you again to the Fairchild Fire Department for showing us the correct way to use a turkey fryer. Of course, the one thing we did want to emphasize were the sacrifices of not only those who serve our country overseas, but the families that are back here and who miss their loved ones every day. Thanks, baby. Happy Thanksgiving to you, too. You sound great. Okay, we love and miss you, too. What a great way it was for us to start a holiday. Thanks again to everyone at Fairchild. When we come back, it's holiday time for the Bishop family. And I really do hope we get it done. Once again, welcome back. Our final story of 2006 is Debbie Bishop and her kids. This collection really is the true definition of the word family. When Debbie Bishop welcomed her first son, Nicholas, into her life, she thought it was temporary. I mean, when I first started with, with Nick, it was just to help out a child's needs for a little while. Then. This foster mother with a knack for special needs kids next opened her doors to Anthony. I fell in love with him. He's really adorable. 
and um, I knew him since he was 18 months old, but I got him when he was four. Then Shay. A guardian ad litem requested that I take Shay because she had had um, a really hard life so far. She was the oldest of five and with kids with real, uh, with a real difficult family. Debbie then welcomed Kayla, Kiana, and Nathan. Taking care of so many special needs kids leaves little time to take care of the house. Anthony's bathroom, which is wheelchair accessible, needs a lot of repair work. And the girls wanted more privacy in their bathroom. An 11-year-old Kiana <laughs> wants something special, a new garage door. <laughs> you had to push it up every morning. Since Debbie has committed her life to these wonderful children, the Extreme Team will dedicate its services this holiday. This morning we got a little bit of a shortage because a uh, shortfall in time wise because the lights and power all got off so we're a couple hours behind. Uh, the generator I guess blew. Uh, but what we got going now, carpet one's here, they're going to put in the carpet and the vinyl. We're prepping for that at this time, tearing out the guys behind me are tearing out for the vinyl and we're going to prep and uh, have it all ready. All right, it's 3 o'clock update on prep day, and right now what was one room is now divided by two. So the Sullivan boys have done it again. Now, a little bit of privacy for both the girls, but again, still a lot of work to be done here. Not to mention the ceiling, a little bit of paint, tape, you know, little things. All right, now, take a look in here. The bathroom is being worked on right now. This is the one where three girls share this. Lots of work to do there. They're just getting the beginnings of the prep work done. Upstairs, the carpets are in, but all the painting is still yet to be done. Some flooring is still being laid down. What we're doing is we're transforming this house, and uh, it's just when you're dealing with six kids, you don't have time to do the work, so we're getting paint done. We've got new carpet. Carpet one came in, not one, not two, not three, but four rooms of carpet, all of the um, flooring for the bathrooms. We have uh, two, basically, new bathrooms going in, and we're doing a lot of paint, and we're replacing doors. We're making things really nice. <laughs> You want the OG? Yeah, I'd rather have the OG. The, M the MDF OG. You can get the Hemlock in the OG too. All right, I'll see what if they, they have. If they don't have it, they're just get the MDF. Okay. And then we'll lift it up like an eighth of an inch and caulk the bottom. It's no longer good. Okay, sounds good. Here we go. That easy. The master taught me. Reveal day 2.30. Let me give you an idea of what's happening. First of all, we're redoing everything in this room and getting new lights and I gotta tell you this is a busy room we're trying to get it all dolled out for Debbie the bathrooms coming along fine still a lot of work to do still plumbing to be done and uh, Les from Sullivan Homes trying to get the uh, the top of it all finished up it all had to be custom made painting is going on Joel has moved into the room this is a Seahawks theme Todd Sullivan overlooking what's going on in the bathroom here <laughs> he's like okay I'm in the way um, but we're still far we're not even close to being done yet which is beautiful because we still have carpet cleaning to do we got to get the whole place cleaned and we're still working on the downstairs to get that bathroom finished and we have about three hours to do it. Welcome to our mess. All right, so, uh, you know, we called and told you we had some sports fans here, and, and you had uh, an autograph deal, and then you said, wait, I got something else. So now I'm sort of excited to see what it is. I had to do some digging. But right. here, we'll, we'll go through what we've got. This is an autograph dance team card. Also have a team photo card, of course, from our Arena Cup Championship. Excellent. And then now here, we have a Raul Vigil Eastern Washington University product autographed game day program. Well, this is what I have. This is a game worn Chauncey Aiko Spokane Shock How jersey. How excellent is that? But right now, there's more people in this house than you could even count. First of all, we're in Anthony's room. That's his hospital bed, and he is a full quadriplegic, and you see that we have nothing put back in place. 
We are being stretched to the limits. Maid Brigade is in cleaning up his bathroom that's been renovated. All right, and things are looking good. We're still trying to get the painting done on the shockwave. Joel Raby, Da Vinci, thank you very much. 92.9 ZZU, one of, uh, again, the KXY broadcast family members. Well, we're here for Christmas Wish. You know, our Christmas Wish has been going on for a long time, and anything that we can do to, to help out people, that's what we're doing. I have a gift here for Nathan, and I've got something for Kayla. I know Molly and Ken have got some gifts there, too. We want to thank Christmas Wish for helping out the extreme team. Look at, there was not one present under this tree until they showed up, and there's still bringing them out of bags. So thank you guys very much. 92.9 ZZU. Downstairs, we still have electricians working. We're still trying to get paint done. We finalized the bathroom, but they're still trying to get the cleaning done. And we still have to clean the carpets downstairs. So everybody, this extreme team is sending us to the limits. We're not close, but somehow we will get it finished before the family shows up. Bishops, come on in. A lot of family and friends out here in the front yard. Come on in, gang. We know you're into sports, right? All right, so we've got sports, we've got new paint, Everhart painting, and look at the Spokane shock. Okay, you wanna come with me? Come on, you come with me. Here's your bathroom. <laughs> it looks a lot different, doesn't it? <laughs> a lot, remember the pink? I know, the pink that had stains on it, and it was really pretty bad. All right, brand new countertop, brand new floor, carpet one, uh, all the floors, all the bedrooms have new carpeting. Really? Every single one? Every single one. I wanna see your room? Okay, Walker's Furniture decided that your dresser was horrible, so we gave you new dressers. It is beautiful. Okay, so what we did is we split the room. Come on, girls, get in here. What do you think? You like it? Yes. You get your own closet. This is your own side of the room. That's your own bed. All right, now come in here with me. This is your room. <laughs> so, pretty cool? Yeah. Okay, guess what? Girls, you had to share a bathroom, right? Shay's upstairs. All right, now. Go in and, and take a look at your uh, bathroom. Now, you may remember how it looked before. It had mold, it had been destroyed, and now it has been rebuilt. It's got a new floor from, yes, Carpet One. It's got a brand new tub. It's got a brand new toilet. It's got a brand new vanity, mirror, lights, everything, plumbing. It is brand new. And it's got a door. Check it out. We got a Seahawks room for you, buddy. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> Todd and Lori Sullivan, thank you very much, and Sullivan Homes. We'd like to thank all the contractors, the subcontractors, all the volunteers, everybody who helped make Extreme Team 2006 possible. And to you, the viewer, for nominating the people so that we can find the bishops to help. God bless. Have yourselves wonderful holidays. The Extreme Team is back in 2007. Good night. Oh, oh my God. Oh, this is so Oh, sweet Jesus. Did we do okay? Oh, yeah. All right, now please turn around. And there is your new Kinder Haven. Oh, Let's oh go forward. God.